Hi, let's suppose you're in a survival situation and you need to throw knives or whatever you've got at hand. Let's suppose you've got a chisel. Another chisel. What about a screwdriver? What about a proper throwing knife? What if you've got a machete? Or what about if you've got some throwing sticks, just with sticks with nails on the end? Right, do you see this bucket full of really nasty looking throwing sticks? Well, we're going to make some in, I think, under two minutes. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a branch. So you get your branch, you measure it. Okay, so you want it about that long. It's just over the length of the bucket. Get something to cut the branch with. In this case, I'm using this clipper. You can strip the bark off. You can do it now or you can do it later. So there the bark is off. Now you're going to choose the thicker end and you'll see there's a little hole in the center for the pith. Be careful for your hands. Go for the center here. And there is your hole in the center. Now take a nail, put it in. And there's your nail in. Next thing, you're going to take an angle grinder. And you're going to grind the tip off so let's do that we're going to sharpen the tip And there's your throwing stick. And we've got a whole bucket full of them. And that took, I think, less than a minute to make. And if you can throw a stick, you can throw a knife. There's no difference. The technique is exactly the same for throwing anything. You can throw a chisel, you can throw a screwdriver, you can throw a stick with a nail in it. The technique is identical. What you're going to do is you're going to take the stick, put it in the palm of your hand. You're going to put your finger there and then you're just going to as if you were chopping wood you throw it at the target and the secret of throwing well actually there's one last thing we have to do and that is just to make sure that you rasp off the especially where you're holding it just make it a bit smooth if there are any things that are rough okay so now that feels smooth and it's just a chopping motion and as you let go the stick, you're going to brush it with your finger. So that is the technique. You just do that as if you were chopping wood. You first practice by just throwing it and letting it hit anyway into the target. And then you want it to go in point first. So the, what you have to do is as you throw it, you flick down with your finger. Your finger must be the last thing to touch. As you let go with your thumb, your finger must brush it. And that stops the rotation of the stick somewhat and makes it stick into the target point first so you throw it just practice throwing it and hitting something and then to stop the rotation practice with your finger sliding off last you want to feel your finger on the stick last this index finger must slide off last and then it will it's called the no spin technique of throwing things and it will stop the spin of the knife you see your knife wants to spin and rotate it's got rotational momentum and as you let go as it comes off your finger is stopping that rotation and then it will go in point first and that is the technique that you use for throwing anything 